Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I am Kulukin Dragoon. In the last episode, we finished up the last side mission in the game. I was right. The old man who's talking and says there's someone close to you and he needs help find them. It doesn't actually refer to an individual side quest. It's just he's always going to say that. So now we can take on the Black Omen, but we have to decide when we want to take on the Black Omen. We can't do it in the year 2300. Because, well, it's already after the apocalypse. We can't do it in the year 65 million because it doesn't exist. So we have the choice of 12,000, 600, or 1,000. And I'm actually going to pick 1,000. And the reason I'm going to do that is because the Black Omen will still exist at 600. And 12,000. So if you do it this way, you should be able to go through the Black Omen and fight the enemies multiple times if you want to. So let's go into the Black Omen. Ooh. So it begins. Now we must take out the Laser Guards. We've seen these guys before. Kind of. So let's go into the Omen. Ah, the queen is here, waiting for us. Fools! Haven't you learned your lesson? We are immortal. We shall live forever with Lavos, who devours this planet even as he sleeps. Within 999 years, he'll become the ruler of this world. The Black Omen is a path which leads to Lavos. It is a shrine which provides us with limitless power. As long as the Mighty One reigns, your dreams are hopeless. But I'm strong. Very strong. You should sacrifice yourself to the mighty Lavos. I don't want to. I'll just kill your guards. <laughs> so now we have a fight against the Mega Mutant. I'm not really afraid of that tech. <laughs> The only one who's not wearing a prism helm here is actually Magus, because the gloom helm is technically giving him higher defense. Okay, what should I use against you? Why don't we try that spin cut? That seems to work pretty well. Ooh, what's this one do? And you? Use the dark bomb. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Rainbow Frog Squash. <laughs> yeah, decent amount of damage. That does a decent amount of damage. Oh, I killed one part of it already. I guess I'll just go physical on the rest of it. <laughs> Is that supposed to do something? <laughs> All right, there you go. 950 tech, 1500. See, not that tough. If you've gone through and you've done all of the optional missions, then probably most of what you're going to find here is not that difficult of boss enemies. And we've seen these types of enemies before. They're only damageable, truly damageable, when they're peeking around their shields. So... When they're looking, just go ahead and smack them. Otherwise, just sit there and wait. What's over here? Stuff. Is there anything left up here? No. Uh, okay. Then let's go take over here and take a look at this stuff, because I have a feeling I need to fight these. Martellos. Oh, that wasn't that bad. I'll have to admit, I'm having a lot of fun <laughs> having uh, both Frog and Chrono on the team at the same time. Because <laughs> they both have massive crit chance. <laughs> oh, good. Chrono levels up. Let's get him even more OP than he already is. 
Alright. Oh, now I've got to fight some big guys. The Goon. Wow. That sounds like a generic name if I ever heard one. <laughs> I'm impressed. You actually survived two crits. Ah. Ah, oh, it's raining. Hear ye, hear ye. I don't think I should be super concerned about this guy. So if that doesn't kill him, Chrono will. <laughs> oh man. Maybe he's tougher than I thought. Don't you die, Chrono. <laughs> I will kill you if you die. <laughs> there we go. 1700, 30 tech, 16,000, and an elixir. Alright, so before we go any further. Let me go ahead and heal those two back up. And actually, hold on, let me take a look. Yep, okay, he still does have more. And 10 more points to learn the Dark Mist technique. I think I have everybody else's maxed out techniques. But I'm not 100% sure. Let's go ahead and take Martello out first, because we've seen him before. Bye bye. Okay. Stop time. He tried to stop my time. It didn't work. None of them are doing that much damage to me. I'm actually kind of surprised by how little damage I'm taking. <laughs> Considering this is the last dungeon in the game. And then there's New Game Plus stuff, but I'm not really going to be concerned with that. <laughs> the only real difference with New Game Plus is there's a possibility of beating Lavos much earlier. Which then, I guess, opens up a different ending. I'm not really going to be trying to go for that. So, there we go. That fight's done and over with. And, Mages levels up, and he learns the Dark Mist technique. Excellent. Let's go ahead and save this puppy. Probably before I even fight Lavos, all my characters will be level 50. Oh yeah, now we're fighting the panels. They're very dangerous panels, you must be very wary of them. Let's see if I can make this a little bit easier on myself. And this technique. And that technique. And what do you do? I haven't seen this Dark Mist technique before. If you survive long enough, let's see you use it. Or if they survive long enough, let's see him use it. I assume one of them is dead. <laughs> I assume it's the one on the left because that's the one I hit with all those physical attacks. Okay, now they're both down. 1624 tech. 1100. Oh, I beat him. But there's more. <laughs> that wasn't too tough. That was actually probably even easier. Oop, there we go. Than the last one. Black hole, power of life and death. I'm starting to... <laughs> I haven't used mages in a while, so it's kind of like, I need to get some tech points for you, don't I? So, now we have boss orb... <laughs> I can't use my tech. 
It won't let me use my tech. Well, I'm not super concerned anymore. If that's that. I thought that was actually going to be like a super tough enemy or something. But it doesn't really appear though, so... Except apparently only mages gonna hit these sidekicks. I got some money. All right, well, I've got the chance and I've got my text. Let's go ahead and have Frog take everybody's health up. And there you are again. Third time's a charm. <laughs> yeah, one of the sidekicks still managed to run away from me. That's annoying. Well, we've seen stuff like these before, haven't we? Let's go ahead and take them out. The Metal Mute. I assume that's supposed to be Metal Mutant, because these things look like the mutants from the year 2300. And stop draining mages for health. It's not going to help you when you're at full health anyway. That didn't take very long. Shining Bit Lightning. Decent damage, but not a ton. Come on, Chrono. Finish him off and take him out. Yeah, I expected that to do even less. <laughs> All right, there we go. Those are gone down out. Frog levels up. Everybody levels up. More. Oh, no, now we've got an added friend. The Flyclops. Would you stop drinking Mage's health? Now he's dead. <laughs> Ah, uh, fine. Frog. Use water. <laughs> Chrono. Use life. I need to kill those two. Bring mages back. We're doing this my way. <laughs> You're not going to get much from him. Let's see how long you survive. This! <laughs> I love this spell way too much. It costs so much MP, but it just does so much damage. <laughs> okay, Magus, your turn. Dark missed them. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think these Flyclops are going to survive very long. All they've actually done to this point is just steal my MP. That's a decent amount of tech points in there, too. Okay, I need... Let's go ahead and use up these. And the mid-ethers. Actually, hold on. Chrono, you need your magic, too. There we go. Now everybody's got magic. I get the feeling I'm on an elevator that's about to go down. And I'm about to have a lot of fights on the way down. Cybot. Hmm. 
These enemies look strangely familiar. It's almost like I've seen them before. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and unleash everything I've got against them. <laughs> There's no point in waiting around. Ah, Corona levels up. That was it. I I honestly expected there to be another fight. Again with the boss orb. Woohoo, I finally killed all three of them in a fight. Now what am I up against? Two-headed... <laughs> the Runinators. Did you just kill... the other guy to restore your health that hadn't even been taken away? Okay, I guess I'll accept that. Oh, okay, so it looks like this is the way forward. More of you. I only got a hundred. That makes me sad. <laughs> Alright, I killed two of them, not all three of them. Treasure chest. I knew there had to be one around here somewhere. A mega elixir. How are we doing, actually? I think everybody's pretty much, you know, still pretty high. I assume I'm running into a boss. Or somewhere soon I will. That tough. Let's go ahead and explore around here, cause three thirty thousand gold. How much money do I have right now? Uh three hundred and eight thousand five hundred and seventeen gold. Yeah, I don't really think I need to worry about money. <laughs> Might need it at some point in the distant, distant future. Yeah, all right. Anything over here? Probably. More of you Flyclopses. And they're down and out. What's next on the list? Again, this is like the fourth time. <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to beat all of them that often, am I? Ooh, but treasure chests. You get a magic seal. More of these enemies. Okay, I'm gonna make one quick switch here. Frog, I want to swap you for Ayla. Okay, so now in case anyone's wondering why I have swapped out Frog and I have pulled Ayla in, is there are a lot of enemies here who you can charm stuff away from. I've missed some of that, but what I'll probably do, or what I was planning on doing anyway, is coming back through this area off camera in uh probably both 600 and 12,000 to get the uh just to get like the maximum amount of everything ooh nova armor how good is that is it better than my moon armor no it is not mm-hmm <laughs> Uh, you're wearing red helm, though, so that's, yeah, that's much better. But, um, I was planning on doing that. That'll allow me to come back through here, and I'll use Ayla to charm a lot of different items from different enemies. The wall panels you can charm speed tabs from. I charmed a, uh, gold earring off of the... Uh, what are those called? Sendites? Which you can see there increases my max HP by 50, but you'll notice the max HP you can have in the game is 999, so while it will increase Chrono's overall max HP, it only does it by 70, so. At this point in the game, the gold earrings, I would say, are not super useful for a lot of your... Uh, a lot of the guys in your parties. Uh, here you in a place like this. You've got a long journey ahead of you, so please rest a while. Just to awaken from the stream, there probably is a way. Uh, no, I'm staying. 
So these two can buy stuff from them, which is always super, super useful. You'll notice they sell everything. And I'll buy two of those. Three of those. And then you can leave the area if you want to with them. I'm going to go ahead and save here. Because I am going to... This is the spot where I'm going to basically kind of go, okay, I'm going to pop out, come back through, and do all this stuff kind of again in the other two use. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end off the episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.